Hey guys, this is a quick video on how to make a textured aquarium background. How we started off was with a plastic background with some pipe ends and some small flower pots. And what we then did was uh, we bought some uh, expanding foam and a spray can and we spread it throughout the plastic background. Um, eventually this will become adhesive and all the pots and pipe ends will stick together and also to the uh, plastic background creating the base for our texture. Um, basically wanted to cover the entire sheet. Obviously, I mean, we were doing a quick video, so we didn't do a great job of the cutting. It's a bit, it was a very brittle backboard as well. Um, so I would recommend probably looking for something more easily cuttable when you go to Home Depot or wherever it is that you do end up buying a background. Um, and once we covered the entire sheet, uh, we basically wanted to uh, make sure that all the pieces on top of the background were put in place correctly. So what we ended up doing was just quickly pick up the pieces, the pots, and uh, push some of the foam under the pot so that we could uh, make sure they had some of the foam attached to it so that it would stick properly. Um, and then again, once we did that, we would go back and spray a bit more foam so that we covered um, the entire plastic cover properly. And once we did that, we, we, what we would do is actually we wanted to make sure it has a nice texture too. So what we ended up doing is we had extra sand left over um, that sits at the bottom of our uh, aquarium and we just basically by hand we would just pour that all over the foam. Um, and we would do that until we covered the entire thing. And then once we covered it, and we let it set out to dry for a bit, so everything would stick together properly. And then once everything was dried and everything was uh, settling nicely, uh, it looked something like this. And then once we had that done, uh, what we ended up doing was we put it into the, first of all, we all the excess we would shake off and then uh, we would put it into the uh, bathtub with water uh, face down so that we will make sure it's weighted as well as um, we get any other excess dirt or uh, unwanted uh, particles out of the uh, background as well. Um, and then once that was done, we ended up putting it into the uh, aquarium. And uh, this is our final product in the aquarium. Uh, obviously not the best cleanly designed but uh, it got the job done um, the cichlids do use the pipe ends a lot they do go in there to hide um, and I feel like they're, they're a bit more safer especially from the bigger cichlids so they're less stressed out um, so basically uh, we didn't do obviously too great of a job but we'd be happy to see what you guys come up with um, here's the material list that we came up with uh, feel free to modify this as you like uh, but th this is what we started with uh, let us know what you think leave us a comment like us dislike us if you didn't like it subscribe if you like to see more videos thanks